guys, welcome back to my channel, Learn with Akshata, and today I'm going to be doing area and perimeter. So, yeah. But before we go on with the video, um, you're probably wondering why do we need area and perimeter? Well, we need area and perimeter. So as like a example, um, you could do like if you want to make a fence for your garden or something, then you could you have to use perimeter. You can't probably see that, but um, uh, you have to use perimeter, perimeter, and measure it all, and then get your wires and whatever you use to make a fence. And then um, for area, it's like okay. So if you have a room and you want to fill it with furniture and stuff, you need to know the area and how much that room can hold. So yeah. <laughs> so I wrote all the formulas here as you could see and uh yeah the formula for an area is l times w which equals which means length times width perimeter means uh length plus length plus width plus width or if you want to make it more simpler you could do two l's which means two lengths plus two widths so okay we went over the formulas and as you could see here you're like what is what does SQ mean? Well, basically, area is measured in square um, units. So, yeah, handy tip there. That's why we have like little squares there, you know, to help. So, as you can already see, I kind of worked a little bit here. So we have seven centimeters here at the top, three centimeters here at the 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 width. So yeah, um, I just kind of labeled them. And now, if we look at the formula, it says here, multiply. So we're gonna multiply seven times three, so I'm just gonna have to walk over here. Okay, so seven times three equals 21. There we go, we have 21, that is our thing. But before uh, we move on, like I said here, square units, centimeters. 21 um, square centimeters. So I um, guess I'll just kind of label it here. Okay, so there we go. Now we have our answer. Boom! Um, our answer is 21. So, well, our, our answer is 21 for area. So we did that. Now we're gonna do perimeter. So I'm gonna grab some sort of different color. Okay, here we go. Uh, now we're gonna do perimeter. So let's see. As you could see here, this and this side here um, actually are equal to each other. They're congruent so and parallel. So that means this side, this side is the exact same as this side. So three centimeters and this side is just the same as the side I can't really fit that in but okay so now we could add it all together seven plus three plus three plus seven so I'm gonna write that here seven uh, plus three plus seven plus I keep on putting multiplication sides okay three okay so seven plus three already equals ten another seven plus three equals ten so ten plus ten twenty there we go, that's our perimeter. But this time, since perimeter doesn't involve like square units and stuff, uh, we could just put CM for centimeter. So, woohoo! We got our um, area and we got our like perimeter. So, that's how you do a rectangle. And now, I'm gonna have to do a square. But I'll do that later. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye!